Each year, Circle of Care helps more than 16,000 clients and their families live happy, healthy, independent lives at home. But our scale and impact as an organization today would not be possible without one vital component, all of you, our tireless and committed volunteers. From our earliest days, almost half a decade ago, Circle of Care was built out of a community that was driven by a calling to serve others and to lift them up. Today, I am proud and grateful to see the passion for helping others live on through all of you. Whether you're on the road delivering meals and checking in on our clients or picking up the phone and sitting down for a friendly chat or visiting clients who are at the end of their lives, there is one thing that remains true. Our sense of purpose is lifted when we see how our efforts have helped somebody else. Hi, I'm Barbara and I'm a volunteer for Circle of Care. I started volunteering at Circle of Care seven years ago. It was a time in my life that I was alone and I wanted to do something fulfilling for other people and fill the gap in my life. And I certainly found it at Circle of Care. I call the clients once a month for our Wednesday or Thursday get together. And then when they do come to the get together, I greet them and I help serve the lunch. I've gotten to know them quite well. And when I call, they hear my voice Oh, Barbara, it's so good to hear from you. And that gives me great pleasure. I really filled a gap in my life that gives me so much pleasure. I hope I can do this for many, many years to come. Hi, my name is Mark Panzer. I am a 72-year-old uh, retired dentist. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. I found that in my practice of dentistry, I was always tried to be organized, efficient, had to be precise in my line of work, and it always tried to be time efficient. Turns out, when I was given routes, this always didn't work out. I would plan the routes um, so that I wouldn't have to double one way or the other, so it would be as efficient and quick as possible, but I found in a very short time that although there were some people who were happy just to receive the meal, uh, open the door, close the door and say thank you, uh, there were many more people who really either had no family or no visitors and uh, would either ask me in just to, just to chat for a while, just to spend some time. As a matter of fact, as a result of spending a little extra time uh, with various clients. Uh, I even got to fix a vacuum. Go figure. Um, I've also been with one of the special clients who's special to me. She adopted me as her little brother, a brother she apparently never had. So there are many more things that we get out of delivery, more than just delivering food. The odd time I've actually been offered a tip, anywhere from two bucks to 20 bucks uh, for delivery, either in a snowstorm or a rainstorm. But I said, look, it, I'm not Uber. Um, your, your, your money would go much further uh, to help out. Donate it to Circle of Care. That's where it'll do the most good. I began volunteering primarily to keep busy you can't spend all day in the gym. Primarily, keep me off the streets, and more primarily, to get me out of my wife Barbie's hair. Uh, but I found quickly that as fulfilling as it is to deliver meals to people who can't get out, 
can't cook for themselves, have no family, it's much more fulfilling and um, for us to see the happiness that you can bring in to the clients on a virtually on a daily basis. Uh, these are people who really appreciate what you're doing uh, and um, it's made my life better. I started up as a visiting pal with um, Circle of Care before changing to do phone pal. What really motivated me was the fact that I wanted to give back to the society. I love being involved in people's life. And this particular is not just any volunteering. This is a volunteering that has to do with individuals. And that is my love. I love working with people, share people's problems, and try to help people out. And when I heard about Circle of Care from a friend, I thought it was a good opportunity for me to do that. Because of my making calls, I realized when I call this lady, she's like, she has been expecting me to call, you know. She gets so excited. I remember the last time I called her and so when I was talking to her, I was like, please, I need to go. She was like, oh, are you going? You know, most of the time they really want somebody to be there with them, you know, somebody to talk to them, somebody to be able to listen to them, to know what's happening around them. Because she was telling me how she went for a program and how she went out, you know, telling me different things. She, they want someone to talk to them, so that is a good opportunity for one to get close to them and to make them feel happy. I'm so happy I had this opportunity with Circle of Care. There were a lot of places I saw I could go volunteer, but the fact that Circle of Care was involved with lives, with people, I really, I'm really happy I had this opportunity and I want to say thank you to Circle of Care. Hi there, my name is Lana Rottenberg and I'm currently a volunteer with Circle of Care. My area in particular that I focus on is hospice volunteering. I've been with Circle of Care for a couple of years and I took advantage of their excellent training so that I would know what to do uh, when I visited people uh, in hospice care. Part of my work as a hospice volunteer is to reach out to those who are ill in our community. And then I came here, I was trained, I got to meet some very interesting people from all around the city that are similarly minded, which I also really like. So I'm able to do this work for a wide variety of people, and Circle of Care makes that happen because they themselves serve a wide variety of people across the city. Part of the reason I got involved in hospice work is that I witnessed the passing of both my parents and my parents-in-law. And each person passed in a different way, it's true. But after the first, where I saw some real gaps in the care, I thought, you know what? I think I could do better. I think there's a better way of doing this. I think one can have a more elegant death than what is normally available. So I set my sights on finding a way to do that, and hospice care volunteering was my way. I've been extremely fortunate through Circle of Care in that I've had clients who were just amazing people. I know everybody's not amazing, and I know that people at end of life are a little too tired to be amazing. But crazily enough, there are some extremely interesting and wonderful people out in our community who are in fact at end of life. One such person happened to live in one of our uh, senior adult residences not far from Circle of Care. And I just loved visiting her. Every week when I visited, you know, it's really nice when you come into a room and someone is so truly smiling and happy to see you. I'm not saying that my husband doesn't do that when I come home. But you know, when you walk into a facility and you open a door and there's someone who's watching movies and is kind of unstimulated by their environment because they're tired and they turn around and they see you and you've made their day already, you're already on good footing and that's just an amazing feeling. This particular client, one day when I visited, uh, she was just having a very low day and those happen and that's a challenge for volunteers because when people want to talk it's easy when they when they don't or when they're tired or they're depressed it's a little bit harder she really did adore her caregiver and her caregiver and I got to know each other we were a little bit like frick and frack so we noticed that our patient was just in the dumps so what we decided to do was play spa salon so we got out a feather boa we put on nail polish and lipstick, and we started to do a modeling photo session while our patient was in a wheelchair. Posing, laughing, telling jokes. I'll tell you, whatever her cares were for the day, they were soon gone. And on top of that, she went down to dinner, and there she was, all dressed up, with a lot of positive stories to tell. And I love this story because we really took someone who is very much depressed and down in the dumps, 
And just, you know, with a little bit of effort and out-of-the-box thinking, uh, maybe it's not available in a sociology workbook that this is something you should do, but it just came naturally to us, and it really was a beautiful afternoon that I won't forget. Um, I heard about Circle of Care in the community, and I was raised with the philosophy of tikkun olam to help make the world a better place than it already is. So when I saw the opportunity that Circle of Care was providing, um, to volunteers and to the people in the community. I thought it was a perfect fit for me. My role with Circle of Care has been twofold. Sometimes I go and visit different vulnerable people in the community that are lonely and need someone to talk to when their families are far away. And my other role is to help people go to medical appointments and then to relay all the information back to the Circle of Care team. I have a client who is often anxious and nervous to go to appointments and then when he sees me come and he realizes that it's me that's taking him, he will calm down immediately. He was very agitated on one visit and as soon as I said Shalom Ma Shalom Cha because I started speaking to him in Hebrew, his whole agitation just dissipated. He calmed down, he smiled, he told me he was so happy to see me and the visit went very smoothly. Working with Circle of Care is a win-win situation. I get to help the clients, I help the vulnerable people in the community to enhance their lives, to support them in their homes, to support them with their medical care. And it makes me feel really great that I'm helping other people and reaching out beyond my own self. Hi, my name is Kara Labarski. I've been a volunteer with Circle of Care for almost 10 years. I started off as a Kosher Meals on Wheels driver, and now I volunteer at the Adult Day Program. I chair the Volunteer Advisory Committee as well. I love volunteering, and I especially love being part of Circle of Care. It's a wonderful organization that speaks true to my heart, which is helping seniors in our community. I'm passionate about trying to bring some joy and happiness and um, build connections through the clients that I have the privilege to be with on Wednesday afternoons. Uh, my jobs vary from week to week. They plug me in as they need me. Uh, whether it's helping with a card game or dominoes or having a special connection when I do a manicure for the ladies, holding their hands, having that one-on-one -on -one time with them. Um, we play games. So thank you for everything you do each and every day to help us achieve our goal of keeping older adults living healthy and independent lives at home, a place where we all want to be.